Good morning. When you have several generations on the planet at the same time, well, let's just say it makes life interesting. So I've compiled a list, a top 10 list of things that irritate me from the current present day. Now, some of you may agree, some of you may not. Some of you may like things on my list. Make your own list. It's my list. So I'm going to tell you. Let's get going. It's 10 top irritating things today. Let me look. Number 10. Hats on infants. You ever see them Facebook posts? Newborn baby. And it's got that thing around their head with the big old flower. Or they got some goofy hat. I didn't got no, I had no baby picture with that on me. Oh, I would have never let, I would have never let my mother hear the end of it. They didn't do that when I was born. Didn't put silly things on my head because babies are ugly when they're born. I don't care. You, unless it's your own kid, they're ugly. A brand new baby is ugly. All right. But putting that on their head just makes it worse. That's number 10. Number nine. You ever go to the grocery store today? You know, everybody's got debit cards. And that one person's got to write a check. Still, it's been going on for years. Decades. You got the one old lady or old man. Doesn't even have to be old. The guy tells them the total. Or the cashier, female, whoever. And then they begin to dig out the checkbook and write it. And so they have now, the you stick the check in the thing and it's supposed to be quicker. No, it's not quicker. Stop writing checks and get a debit card. <sighs> Number eight. Vaping. What the hell is this vaping? Quit smoking. Get a vapor. These things are huge. They're like this and they're like... And the puff of smoke is so ridiculous. And they stink. And these people are doing this in the grocery stores. Oh my, I'm going to carry my vapor. And they got vaping stores on every block. <sighs> Number seven. On those shows, you know, HGTV where they're looking at houses somewhere the new term great room came about what the hell is a great room okay i grew up it's called a living room my dad be in there get your ass out of the living room that's what he didn't say great room great room man I, that's one i'd like to get rid of right there great room Give me my list. What happened to my screen? Number six. This one's really irritating. Gender reveal parties. What? What? If I have a friend and he calls me up and says, Hey, Mike, you coming? Coming to what? Gender reveal party. I'm like, what the hell is that? It's where we tell everybody what it is, a boy or girl, or, or what? Or it could be born a transvestor light. I don't know. A gender reveal party. Come on, man. I don't know if I can go on. I, I just, uh... Number five, the word bruh. You've seen it on all the shows. You've seen it on YouTube. Guy walks up to another guy and they see something and he goes, bruh. Bruh. If somebody said that to me, <laughs> oh, I'm going to smack that. Hell out of them. <sighs> Bruh. Ah. 
Number four. Remember when you used to go to a restaurant with your family? And you'd wait, you'd walk in, please wait to be seated. Huh? You didn't mind that. You didn't mind that. And I'm talking back in the old days, before they give you that stupid little pager. You know, if you're eating at one of them restaurants, that's one of them chains, that's garbage. But the real home cooking restaurant. And then they take you, when they finally get a table, which was usually pretty quick, and they seat you at the table. Then the waitress comes around, the first thing she does is she puts out glasses of water to everybody. But they don't do that no more. They don't put out the water. You order a club sandwich, you don't get the pickle on the side. Those kind of things have went to the wayside. Bring back at least the pickle. Because, man, that was, that was good. <sighs> Where was I? Number three. I think everybody agrees with this. We love them, but we hate them. Cell phones. Yeah. So you're in that same restaurant, you know, that didn't give you the water. And the table behind you, you got this guy. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, well, I'm going to be there tomorrow. Okay, okay. Hey, honey, can you pass the salt? What, what happened to his voice that it had to be so loud? On the cell phone, disrupting the entire restaurant. But yet when he hangs up, his voice returns automatically to the normal level. Those people are everywhere. I think there was even a commercial about it. Don't want to mention the brand of the beer, but it was Mr. Loud's cell phone talker. Yeah, And they always usually have a cell phone, or they used to always have the flip phone, and made sure they did this, you know. So you knew they had a flip phone. Oh, I got sleep in my eye. That's probably showing up on the camera. I know it. Number two. Work from home. Now, that one needs to be banned altogether. If your ass is too lazy to get up, get in the shower like I did all those years, get in your car and drive to work then you need to move to Zimbabwe because that's where you need to be. You can work from home in your little tent in Zimbabwe feeding the poor. I know, I'm just jealous because it wasn't available when I was younger and working. It just wasn't there and it would have been cool. I would have probably never got nothing done and you know they're not getting nothing done. Which brings me to number one. The emergency broadcast system. It's bad enough that they changed the sound. It used to just be me. And now it's me. 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 But that ain't the worst part. It's 2024. Why, in the name of Pete, cannot, can the guy not speak in stereo? It's like a garbled mess. This is a little warning. Please go to a safe room in your house. Man, it's like Charlie Brown's parents. You can't understand them. And I was a pilot. It's the exact same thing when you're getting a, a weather report. Before you take off, you always have to get a weather report. It's always the exact same voice. Can somebody fix that, please? We have the technology. So if I ever die in a tornado, it's because I didn't understand Charlie Brown's dad telling me. Well, that's my list for this morning, guys. Sorry. You may disagree with every one of them. 
But that's my list. You make your own list. Put it in the comments. What irritates you today? I think I better go now. Happy trails.